Sadhguru, you have mentioned that at one time, Nepal itself was consecrated as a full energy body. How was this used by the people for spiritual benefits? Are such things possible today? And can the whole planet be energized? What was the energy body, I'm sorry? Nepal was consecrated. Oh, okay, the Nepal. Okay. This is a, a tremendous uh, experiment, a successful experiment that uh, certain beings or a group of beings of uh, phenomenal caliber created. A certain part of Nepal, not the whole country as it is because it used to be many kingdoms at one time, a certain part of Nepal was made into uh, a spiritual body by itself. Establishing shrines at key points with all the necessary ingredients to build a body. A body means the body that you have right now, the physical body, is an accumulation of food. But to convert food into flesh and bone, to be able to convert a piece of bread or a vegetable or a fruit or whatever else you consume into human body, there is an energy system there's an energy body. So, they built a massive energy body across the geography of a certain part of Nepal so that the whole population can live in a consecrated space. This dream of wanting every human being and every creature that walks or crawls to live in a consecrated space is the dream of every enlightened being. Similar things have been attempted in Tamil Nadu and in the southern parts of India. Similar things were attempted in various parts of North India but most of it has been destroyed due to invasions. Southern India is, I would say, more intact that way. This is a dream of every enlightened being because it does not matter how many teachings you give, how many practices you give, how many methods you impart to people. Unless you create a womb where people can naturally rejuvenate and grow, for the common populace to be able to do sadhana by themselves, beyond the natural forces and go beyond their physicality and attain to their highest. It is not impossible, it is very much possible, but unfortunately most people would not do it because they tend to go with the natural forces around them. So creating an energy body, creating a consecrated space in such a way that the very atmosphere around you is constantly instigating you to go beyond your physicality. This has always been the aim. You will see the whole of Tamil Nadu is full of this. Magnificent temples were built. People who built these temples, they themselves lived in small hutments, but they built such fabulous temples because they realized that living in a consecrated space is more important than living in a comfortable home. Every street has five temples. This is not in competition with each other, though it may be turning out that way today. The purpose of this is to ensure no creature who walks this land will ever be outside a consecrated space. This great dream many times has reached close to 
fulfillment and many times it's been pulled down. Once again, we are making such an attempt. If you ask me what's my dream, I would like to consecrate the whole planet. <laughs>